empires on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee Coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Waging war on corruption. It's Alex Jones. It's the time of the Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we've been talking about the standoff and the stand down of the militarized BLM presence there. They essentially had martial law. No free speech. Anybody that steps foot on there, on the king's land, is going to immediately be taken down, tased, arrested, brutalized. Sniper nests, observation posts. It was martial law, even though they didn't declare it. And what took it down? A vigilant people, people showing up, people understanding what was going on. And of course, the reports about the crony capitalism and the corruption and Harry Reid's involvement in it. That's the story that's coming out. And that's the narrative. That's the understanding of the other people. They said this has been taken down. This is orders from on high because, of course, the head of the BLM now, Neil Corns, was one of the senior policy advisors for Harry Reid, just as his son was a chief lobbyist for one of these solar projects. And, Alex, they needed to get the rights to that area so they could use it like carbon credits. So they could take off his property rights so they could put their property on there and sell it off as a kind of crony capitalism. And we're going to have Jerome Corsi joining us at the top of the hour talking about how the Chinese government is trying to do this in myriad ways throughout the country. Well, that's right. And that's why this is such a big deal. That's why it, it's really a keystone or a, a Rosetta Stone. Because as I said when I popped in earlier, I want to recap that and then walk through this for folks, why it's so important. It's a propaganda victory for liberty. 
if they would have shot 100 of those people, it would have been a victory for liberty, but would have probably started a physical revolution. So we don't want that to happen. But we would have had the moral high ground when the revolution starts to restore the republic and could have ended the Civil War a lot quicker than if they staged New Oklahoma City to blame on us, to make us look bad, to start the Civil War preemptively where they have the jump. Mm -hmm. and, and this is how governments and systems think. Uh, if you go back to Egypt and, and, and the Israelites coming out, it was over land and abuse and, 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 and torture and, and, and uprisings, Moses. Um, if you look at what happened in 1989 in East Germany uh, that you mentioned earlier, and we've had former members of the Stasi secret police on who hated the regime, didn't like what was going on, were ordered to arrest or shoot people that tried to get out of the country or get out of East Berlin, uh, they finally just stood down. They finally just uh, you know, did their job, and so the Berlin Wall came down. We saw this in Romania with Ceausescu right around the same time where the, the, the ministry police were aiming their guns at the people, and the people started marching forward. They shot a few, but then the other guards got really freaked out, and the police and threw their guns down or turned their guns on the military and started shooting them. Let me, let me interject something here. One of the Bundy daughters said she went over and she talked to one of these uh, guys who was in one of the vehicles. I think it was the night when they had stopped it. I'm not sure exactly the time, but she... Doesn't matter. Just Yeah, and she said, are you, why are you doing this? Don't you understand what's going on here? He goes, yeah, I don't want to be doing this, but it's my job. And she said, are you proud of this? He says, my grandfather would be so ashamed of me at this point. He understood that what he was doing was wrong. He was this close to, to doing the right thing because there is a higher law. That's There's right. Higher moral law well, well, plus he has the grazing rights. I mean, see, yeah. see, it's just like if people stop paying property taxes. People go, well, that's the law. Property tax is from feudal Europe and feudal Japan. Yes. It means you didn't own your land. It meant you were a renter. It is a government rent. We did not have it anywhere in the U.S. until about 100 years ago. It's only been phased in nationwide in the last 30 years. But people now think that's normal. Bundy's like, my family's been here forever. We have the grazing rights. We've never paid it. He goes, I'll pay it to the state. And, and he's saying that's legitimate. I don't think that's legitimate. I don't think the state, even though it's more legitimate than the feds, trumps something that you've had on record. But but this is the same thing. This is the domestication process. It's why they don't want lemonade stands. It's why they don't want local farmers markets. It's why they harass them because the big corporations want it shut down. So, so here's the larger issue. Worldwide, from Burma to Mexico, from the United States in Nevada uh, to areas of Europe, they're banning cook stoves. They're banning wood stoves. Uh, they are forcing indigenous populations off of their land. And people don't know why Mexico, Mexico City doubled in size the last 30 years. It's because they forced more than 10 million people who own their land but lived there so long. They would say, well, where's your deed? Well, my great, 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 great grandfather. You know, going back a thousand years, we're all buried here. And the town's named after me. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Mexican troops came in, forced them off. Only place they couldn't force them off was Chiapas because they fought. Mm -hmm. And they're still fighting. Okay. Now, if you expand that, the last time I went to Cozumel, and I won't go there anymore. I've been there probably 25 times. And they forced them all into the city, which is the agenda 20. Used to, you saw fishermen out there. I wonder why they mm -hmm. were all mean now, unhappy, poor. Everybody was freaked out. And, uh, my, my dad speaks Spanish and stuff and talked to him. They said, no, we've all, the last five, six years, we're not allowed. My parents had gone with me and the family, you know, on a trip down there a few years ago. We're not allowed to fish anymore. Only the big factory trawlers are. And, uh -huh. and, and, and but, but then look here, they have limits on us fishing, but not the big trawlers. See, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's the globalist shutting everything down. So, and we learn it's China, it's Harry Reid, it's the BLM head. They're all involved in this. It's totally illegal on, on its face, just like all the other scams they run. So Just like Obamacare. Just like Obamacare. Yeah. So it's a Jenna 21 takeover, and the public's so ignorant, they're now saying it's a privilege to be a parent. It's a privilege to own a gun. It's not a privilege to travel, but the average cop goes, it's a privilege for you to travel. No, it's not. If I'm in commerce, it is. Mm -hmm. A commerce clause. See, we have the federal and state rulings. We're informed. And that's what I see everybody pushing back. They're saying, the government... 
had rights. The government owned this land. He has a privilege. He has permission. He violated that. They can remove that. We don't have any rights anymore. We only have permissions and privileges, according and to that's why when you, only the government owns things. Only the government has rights. Exactly. And that's why when you go on a national park or someplace, which this wasn't even that, they let you know you're lucky to be here. Mm -hmm. Because it's all they know they've stolen it all. So they're guilty. So they want to make you feel guilty to so accept it. But to explain this to people, 90% of Nevada, it was 90, it was 87, 90% of Nevada is federal. Federally managed. But mm -hmm. then they want to charge you and all the rest of it to come on it so they can spend three, four, five million dollars to, 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 to go after some guy and his, his cattle in the middle of the world. No, it's about them putting the solar farms just south of him. And in the expansion, phase two, it, go, it does go to close to his property. Mm -hmm. And then, as you said, this is the buffer zone. If you read the New York Times last year, Paul Watson wrote about it. They have a mercenary groups for the UN going in to Uganda and literally burning and killing villages when they won't leave, shooting people. Mm -hmm. The New York Times admitted this to take their ancestral uh, native lands off limits so they can have mines and strip mining and clear cutting next door in an IMF World Bank controlled project. So you understand it's the exact same thing. It's the same program worldwide. And the New York Times talked about the mercenaries lining people up and shooting them. And I tell people who, who love the UN and you know every model has to give them, you know, and girls all wear the UN shirts because they care about the kids, that you know, hey, the UN's running extermination programs under AFRICON. They don't even believe it till you show them, till you show them. Uh, the actual documentation till you show them what's going on. So this is a world fight here. And the point is, at Ruby Ridge, they killed the people. At Waco, they burned them down and killed the people. At all these modern events, the feds have not backed down and it's blown up in their face. See, we win either way, but we don't want people to die. And the, the historic magnitude of, I would say, close to a thousand people there, would oh, you yeah. say? Oh, yeah. Close to hundreds of people on horseback. Mm -hmm. massing and people on loudspeakers saying, we're going to shoot you. You come up to the fences and they say, back off and we'll leave. No, we're not. Tear down the fences, march in with guys up on the berms, snipers, armored vehicles. You guys are so close. You're only showing part of it there on the video for TV viewers. And Drudge has you know, linked to this video the last few days. Uh, in fact, we'll give folks the name of the video and show them the article uh, here in just a moment so, so we can give it out and folks can go check it out. In fact, ask, ask Adon or, or one of the guys to post it back as the top story on Infowars.com. There it is, historic. Feds force a surrender to American citizens. People on YouTube, a minority of them, say, Alex, why are you so excited about this? The feds will come back. You know, this isn't over. I know that. Yes. The point is, is that the iconography, the archetypal image right out of V for Vendetta of where the people are marching on the Capitol and the military has been ordered to shoot them and they stand down. That's how Ceausescu fell. It's how the East Germans fell. It's how the old Soviet bloc fell. It's how every corrupt system falls. Now, I don't want the system to totally fall because you got a parallel republic and the New World Order takeover system that's using the old system to take it over. I want to reboot the republic before the globalists under Agenda 21 economically and culturally collapse us and then pose as the savior. See, they create the false crisis to then pose as revolutionaries. They're going to try to bring in a leftist uh, you know, system when they couldn't control the Occupy movement. And well, that's what it's been about for a long time. They then time. flushed it. Yeah. You go back all the way back to the time of Robert McNamara, the IMF. They were accused of, and, and the or correct way to put this out is just rent seeking, essentially turning all of us into serfs, into slaves. That's it. Who don't v own anything. Via laws. They own everything. And that's why the BLM is going from management to ownership so then they can transfer that to the globalists. Well, that's right. And, and of course, before with the BLM, people wouldn't put up with this. And it's like, I've got a ranch here for seven generations, five generations, uh, and uh, I've always run my cattle on this before this was there. And so they know that this sector of the public land is where such and such runs, runs his sheep, or is where such and such runs his cattle, or is where such and such grows his, his oats. The point is that's the way that's always been out west for more than half the land's federal. They prey on the ignorance of the public to not know this, but, but this is what it all comes down to, is that is that it shows that the feds didn't want a new Lexington or Concord. They, they didn't want at the point of where the people called their bluff, they backed down, and it shows the moral authority. And it was because of the iconography 
it was because of the images of the people in the cowboy hats, the American flags, the whole deal. We, the real America, were reclaiming.